गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ चारू महाजन योर कंप्यूटर टीचर हेयर आई एम टूडे गोइंग टू टीच यू चैप्टर नंबर वन कंप्यूटर एंड इट्स कंपोनेंट्स एक कंप्यूटर हैज बिन बिकम एन इंटीग्रल पार्ट ऑफ अवर लाइफ मोस्ट ऑफ अवर डेली एक्टिविटीज इधर इन्वॉल्व द यूज ऑफ द कंप्यूटर और डिपेंड अपॉन द इंफॉर्मेशन ड्राइव फ्रॉम द कंप्यूटर so let's starts the chapter with the definition of computer a computer is an electronic machine that works according to the instructions given by you computer can accept the data manipulate the data that means process the data and produces the result according to the instructions given by you and stores the result for the future use i have used some terms in this definition so let's discuss these terms first data data is the collection of unorganized facts that means raw facts jab hum kuch numbers ki baat karte hain 2 5 7 these are the raw facts when we say 2 plus 5 is equal to 7 that means it's the information because it has been processed information is a processed data instructions we give the instruction 2 plus 5 that means we instruct the computer to add two numbers that is the instruction processing when uh, data manipulates transfer it to the information data transformation into information is known as the process storage a computer often stores the data information instruction for the future use the person who uses the computer is called the user and now comes the hardware all the physical mechanical pieces of the equipment which we can see or touch is known as hardware software software is a set of instructions organized for a common purpose as we ask the computer to bold some letters in our uh, typing that is also instructions given by a software we use the software for performing the job we can't touch this software we can't see this software we can use the software network network is the collection of computers and other devices which are connected with communication channel internet internet is the whole world wide collection of networks millions of computers are connected through the different networks to together now we will talk about the benefits of the computer computer is a powerful and useful device which work very fast this is the first benefit its speed its speed is very fast it can process a large amount of data very quickly second is quality a computer enables to create high quality documents That means, जो document ये produce होते हैं they can be used anywhere and they are long lasting. Reliability, reliability means भरोसे uh, मंद A computer is reliable and accurate because it can't made mistake. हम human being instructions देते हुए गलती कर सकते हैं but computer can never do the mistake. it works according to the instructions given by us storage capacity computer can store the enormous amount enormous means large amount of data to make this data available versatility versatility ka matlab uh, apne aap ko kisi bhi us cheez ke sath dhal lena aur kitna lamba kaam karna pade karte rehna ये टायर्डनेस फील नहीं करता और एक ही जॉब को कई बार कर सकता है इट डजेंट फील मोनोटोनियस दैट इज वर्सिटैलिटी नाउ वी विल डिस्कस हाउ डज ए कंप्यूटर वर्क वेन वी गिव समथिंग टू द कंप्यूटर दैट इज इनपुट फॉर द कंप्यूटर फर्स्ट वी इनपुट अ विथ डेटा डेटा गोज फॉर द प्रोसेसिंग देन इट बिकम्स द इंफॉर्मेशन एंड कम्स टू द आउटपुट डिवाइस and then it goes to the storage device for the future use keyboard is our input device processor is our cpu 
and monitor is our output device and then data stores in the hard disk that is how this computer how does the computer work now we discuss about the input devices first there are lots of input devices which are used to enter the data and instructions and commands to the computer first is keyboard keyboard is an input device which contains the keys we press the keys to type the information and enter the instructions normal keyboard typically have 101 to 105 keys there are four types of keyboard nowadays wireless keyboard a wireless keyboard is a battery powered device which transmits the data to the system compact keyboard the laptop computers have handheld computers mobile devices often use a compact keyboard which is smaller than the standard keyboard virtual keyboard a virtual keyboard is a software component that allows a user to enter the text within the software braille keyboard a braille keyboard is a type of keyboard which is meant for the blind or the visual impaired people to input information in a computer next device comes the mouse mouse is a pointing device that fits comfortably under the palm of your hand you can use the mouse to select move items on the screen <clears throat> the top of a mouse has two buttons and a scroll wheel there are five types of mouse available these days mechanical mouse optical mouse wireless mouse air mouse touch mouse mechanical mouse is the oldest one which has a ball under but at the bottom of the mouse there is a ball which scrolls and gives movement to the pointer optical mouse nowadays we are using optical mouse in our computer lab which doesn't contain a ball but it has a laser light wireless mouse as the name itself define the mouse without the wire it also the battery contained mouse which uh, works through a battery air mouse air mouse uh, is a newer type of the um, motion sensing mouse that is addition to the typical buttons touch mouse touch mouse is a touch sensitive mouse that recognizes the touch gesture for example you press a location on a touch mouse to simulate a click you see these types touch mouses on the laptop now we discuss about the touch pad A touchpad is a flat pressure sensitive surface that is used to no, uh, used on notebook computers. You can move the pointer on the screen by moving your finger along the surface of the pad. Joystick a joystick is a pointing device which is used to control the action in a computer game. Joystick is only used for playing games with uh, with the help of uh, computer or on the uh, tv screen graphic tablet the graphic tablet also called the digitizer in it is a input device which has a special pen it is known as the stylus which helps us to write on it touch screen a touch screen is a screen that you can touch with your finger to input the information as your smartphones have the touch screen same like the tablet pc also have the touch screen motion input motion input lets the user guide on screen elements using the air gestures air gestures involve moving your body or hand uh, some play stations use this technique for playing games digital camera a digital camera also called the dg cam it's very common thing nowadays we can store the data from the digital camera to our system microphone microphone is a voice input device it send our voice into the computer you can use the microphone for instant messaging or otherwise you are chatting with your friends you are talking with your friends on the zoom app is also using the microphone of your uh, device 
scanner a scanner is a input device used to send the images and the text directly to the computer barcode reader barcode reader is used is a set of lines which are used to know the prices of the things or the manufacturing date etc barcode reader reads these lines barcodes with the help of the barcode scanner and gives the input magnetic ink corrector recognition reader micr reader it is used on uh, to read out the checks we use it in the banks mostly we don't use it even otherwise so here we complete our input devices the rest we will discuss in the next class till then bye